What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage and in today's video we're going to uh, go look at a classic blazer. Not a itty bitty blazer or a BS blazer but a real K5 old school blazer. guys welcome on back to tk's garage so what we're going to do we're on the way there now um so i'm looking at all different types of avenues i've been looking at the auctions um at different trucks you guys i've been debating everything from a humvee uh to you know i even put a deposit down on a big a bigger vehicle which you guys will probably see a video on i don't know what order the videos are going to be in so i don't want to spoil it <coughs> but it's big anyways so um we're going to go look at this because it's kind of already kitted out. Looks like it's already got a nice little lift on it. Old carbureted blazer. And these also are appreciating in value like crazy too. Another reason why I'm kind of looking at it. Because um, it's something I, I probably could just pick up. Drive is kind of like, you know, a secondary vehicle or drive during the day when everybody's out and likes to run into stuff. Uh, and they're going to say, well, if it's classic or if it could be worth money, why would you drive it? Because um, it's... I'll have to wait till you guys see it. But anyways, we're on our way there now. Let's get there. We'll go take a look at it. And then, um, you know, I'll, I'll think about it. I got, you know, it looks like I'm going to have a whole weekend out of town to really kind of think about which ones I want or or which one I want and uh, make a purchase when I get home. So let's, uh, <clears throat> let's go ahead and knock out the drive and go check it out. Perfect. guys so it looks like we're about almost a mile away we're off the highway we're going back through the neighborhoods and stuff now and i'm hoping this thing looks as good in person as it did on facebook so we're gonna have to see but um i think i'm going to be highly interested in this one and it's not even really really what i want but just because i know like, I probably could drive this thing for a year or two and sell it for close to double what I paid for it. So, uh, here we go. One thing you do learn here about Las Vegas, if you live here, is there are a ton of stop signs in school zones. And if you like to get up in the morning and you think you're going to drive somewhere or go do something, um, lots of school zones. Cool thing is, though, like, a lot of stuff goes up the mountain or down the mountain or down the hill. And when you're doing this, like, you can literally just let off the gas and just coast. And you'd be right at the speed limit just just rolling. <coughs> we like to call this uh, the free gas files. You know, you don't even got to really use any fuel. Just coast on down. But, um... And then walls. You see walls everywhere. As much as I love my my Pixel, and it's been a great camera, I just can't make it my primary phone um, or my primary camera. Just like it's it's 58 degrees outside right now, and this thing is overheating. Like, what is it going to do in the summer? Like, no, no way. Anywho, so it looks like we're going to go down the block here and around a corner, and we will be there. I drive one of those too. See that Roadmaster right there? All day if I could find one. Oh, I see it. I see it parked right there. There it is. All right, let's get out and get a better look at this thing. So how long have you had it? I've had it since last July. Yeah? So did, did you do the, um, the suspension modifications? No, I got the chug to the way it sits. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're getting rare, man. 
That's why when I saw <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. If not, you can keep it. They're going to keep going up in value because they don't have them anymore. Yeah, I don't. I didn't. I don't. I didn't think you had it listed overpriced. Like uh, people on Facebook do that shit though. They like to. Yeah, you are right about that. I think common sense is going out the window. No. All right, guys. So that was a very, very clean blazer um i mean very clean now is it perfect no it definitely needs stuff like the headliner stuff the little foam crap is still there that would have to be removed um that would have to be removed the upholstery and stuff would have to be done and i don't see an issue with with doing any of that i think that could be an easy thing we can get that knocked out so um yeah, very, very, very um, interesting. But let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think about that K5 Blazer? Am I wrong? I know that these things have been going up in value like crazy. And uh, so, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going <clears> to <throat> go on our trip. And like I spoke with him, I said, look, I can link up with him on Monday. Um I think the price that he's asking for it is fair. Um, I don't think it's overpriced to being what it is. If it was just a regular Tahoe in its current condition of that body style, no way it's not worth that. But a two-door Blazer is different. You don't see, you just don't see those anymore. You really don't. So I think just because of what it is, um, it's it's probably worth it to me it may not i mean some people might say it's not worth it tk is too much um or whatever and you know what i'll go ahead and pin in the comment section how much i'm not going to put it in the video because i know you're going to be like Ugh. the reason why i do that is because I'm trying to encourage you guys to use that comment section so um i'll pin the uh the price of the vehicle in the comment section how much you want it for it. But um, I don't think it's a bad price for what it is. Uh, it does run. It does drive. It's got some weird shimmy in the suspension in the front right. I'm assuming that could be a tie rod end. Or, you know, maybe a, a ball joint. Or it might need a wheel hub. Which that is very common on GM stuff. I mean, uh, but... Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Is it a win? Is it not a win? And uh, I guess we'll go from there. See y'all on the next one.